Hey everyone, and welcome to another Minecraft video. I am IcelTPW, and you're probably aware that Minecraft has updated its launcher. So today I'm going to show you how to install Forge and mods on the new launcher. So first things first, you're going to need to make sure that you've got a world installed for the version of Minecraft that you want to install Forge for. So I'm going to create a world here now, and I'm going to do it in 1.14.3. So what you need to do first is go to Installations, and then we're going to create a new world. And we're going to call this Minecraft 1.14.3 test. So I think I have a 1.14.3 world already. The next thing I need to do is change the resolution. And depending on the resolution of your screen, you select that one. Mine's a 2K monitor, so it's this. If you have a full HD monitor, then you choose 1920 by 1080. The next thing we need to change is we need to make sure that we're using the right version of Minecraft. So you see here latest release 1.14.3. If you select this, then anytime the game is updated, it's automatically going to update this. So if you want to keep it on the version that you want to install the mods for, then select release 1.14.3 and not latest version, because it will always update with the latest. So select 1.14.3 on release. And the next thing we need to change then is JVM arguments. You see here it says dash XMX2G. This is the amount of RAM that you've allocated over to Minecraft. So I would always recommend that you use half of the amount of RAM that you have on your computer. Mine is 32 gigabytes and you don't really need to go over above eight gigabytes. So I would suggest if you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, then you can leave this to eight. If you've got eight gigabytes of RAM, you change this to four. The more RAM you can give over, the better. And then we're gonna press create. And you can see down here in the bottom, I've got Minecraft 1.14.3 test. And I'm gonna create a world now. The world is created up, it says Minecraft 1.14.3, and I'm gonna create a single player world. Now that we have a world created, we can escape out of here again. The installation I'm about to show you can be used for any version of Minecraft for Forge. So whether that be 1.12, 1.12.2, 1.13, 1.14, or 1.14.2, or 1.14 or 0.3, it doesn't matter, it's the same installation for all of these. The next thing we need to do is go to Google and type in Forge. When you get to the Forge website, you'll see on the left hand side of the screen here, you've got Minecraft version. So you just select whichever is your Minecraft version. So we're gonna do this for 1.14.3. So I'm just gonna click on the 1.14.3 here and it's gonna bring me to the download page. And you always want to click on the latest one. There are other versions and we want to click on the installer here so we're going to click on the installer and on the bottom left hand side of the screen it's going to say this type of file can harm your computer do you want to keep forge 1.14.3 and yes you do want to keep it it comes up with this warning because it's a java file and your computer will automatically give you a warning about java files so just press keep and once that is fully downloaded just click the arrow button and go to open and you're going to get the Forge mod system installer here. And what you're looking to do is select install client. So press OK. And you get this box that is building the processes. It's installing Forge. And you will get a box that says successfully install a client. And just press OK. So just restart up your Minecraft launcher. And you can see that we still have the Minecraft 1.14.3 test down here. We now need to add the Forge one onto the launcher. So let's go to installations. Again, we're going to add new, and I'm going to call this Minecraft 1.14.3 Forge Update. What we need to change now is the latest release here, and we need to select the version of Forge that we just installed. And it's here, it's the first one that I have, which is release 1.14.3 Forge 27.0.14. This one below here was a previous version, so I'm just updating to this now. Again, we need to change the resolution of the screen to whatever our monitor screen size is. Mine's a 2K monitor. And the next thing we need to do is click on more options here. Again, I'm gonna change this to half the amount of RAM that I have on my computer. What you need to do next is you need to memorize where this is or you can copy and paste it, is click on browse here because we're gonna to need to use this for our mods. And you can see that your Minecraft folder here is in your hard drive into your users, which is isoltpw for me into your app data file, into your roaming file, and then your .minecraft file. So you just need to remember where your Minecraft file is. I'm gonna show you how to find it anyway. And we're gonna press create. 
And right down the bottom here, you can see that we've got Minecraft 1.14.3 Forge update. And I'm now going to start up the game. I've no mods installed yet for Forge, but I'm going to start this anyway. So the game is going to start up and now you're going to see in the bottom that it says Forge 27.014 and Minecraft 1.14.3 with one mod loaded. The one mod loaded is actually Forge itself and you can click on mods to see what mods you have installed. And I've got Minecraft and Forge. That's the first mod, Forge itself. I'm going to go back into my single player world. If you look at the top left hand side of the screen, it says Minecraft 1.14.3. 1.14.3-forge 27.0.14 backslash forge so now i'm going to download a mod and show you how to install it so we're going to bring up the browser again i'm going to go back to google and i'm going to type in a website that i know is very good for mods and that is curseforge and it's www.curseforge.com as usual i'm going to leave links in the description of this video so they're easy for you to click on so i'm going to go to curseforge and i'm going to go to minecraft and I'm going to go to mods and then I'm going to select the version that I'm downloading for this is for 1.14.3 and it's going to automatically select mods that are ready for 1.14.3 one thing to watch out for when you're downloading mod is make sure that it is actually compatible with the version of Minecraft that you're using and the version of Forge even though it says 1.14.3 up here because 1.14.3 is new some of these mods might not yet be compatible so just make sure it has been updated and will work on 1.14.3. So I'm gonna click on the gravestone mod here. There is a download button here, but I'm not gonna click on that yet, because I'm not 100% sure that this is gonna give me the updated version. So I'm gonna click on files here, and I'm gonna select the version that says it's for 1.14.3, and then I'm gonna click download. When it's downloaded, you're gonna get the same warning that you got for the forge file, because this is a Java file. So press keep, and once that's downloaded, just drag it onto your desktop. The next thing we want to do is put the mod into the mods folder. Finding a mods folder can be tricky, but if you remember from the Minecraft launcher, it gave us the game directory. There are a couple of ways that you can search for this. Minecraft files are usually hidden files, so you need to enable hidden files or secret files. All you need to do is type in up here on the search box, percentage, app data, percentage. And that should bring you into your roaming folder straight away. You then go to .minecraft and in here you'll have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder after installing Forge already, all you need to do is right click anywhere and go new folder and call it mods. Make sure it's called mods plural. But I already have a folder called mods so I'm going to say no. Now if you can't find this folder the way I've done it up here with percentage app data percentage, there is another way you can do it. You can go to your hard drive, go to users, go to your username Go to app data, roaming, and then you'll find your .minecraft file. There is one other way that you can find your app data folder, and that is go down to the search icon on your Windows and type in percentage app data percentage, and it's going to give you your file folder here. We're going to click on that, and it's going to open this up for us. And again, you've got your .minecraft folder here. Click on that, and it'll bring you into mods. So now I'm going to open up my mods folder. And all I'm going to do is drop the gravestone mod into the folder. And once I've done that, I can close down the folder and restart up the launcher. And once the launcher started up, I'm now going to press play again, ensuring that I've got Minecraft 1.14.3 Forge update here, which I do. And I'm going to press play. And the launcher has just loaded up now. And you can see down the bottom here that I've got now got two mods installed. Again, I'm going to click on mods here. And I'm going to see that the Gravestone mod is installed and Forge is installed. They're the two mods that I have currently. If by any chance that Minecraft crashes when you're loading your mods, check the versions to make sure that they're compatible with the version of Minecraft you want to play. I'm going to go back into my single player world. And now I just need to test the mod, which is the Gravestone mod. And the only way that I can do this is to die. So I'm going to go and die now and see how this goes for me. And I'm just about to die now. There we go. I've died. I saw TBW drowned. I'm going to respawn back to where I started and I've now got a note in my hand and that note says name isol tbw dimension overworld the date and time that I died and the coordinates where I died x268 y64 and z266 it will also show here and next if I had any items on me whether I have armor or weapons and it'll show you the ones that have been kept so I'm now going to look for those coordinates which is 266 and 268. I'm going to press F3 and I'm going to go down to the lake here. 
And here in the lake, you can see that it's got my gravestone. And it is at, there's my coordinates, 268 and 266. So all I need to do is break the headstone. And if I had any items, I would be able to pick them up there. So that is how you install Forge and mods on the new launcher for Minecraft. Go check out the mods, there's some great mods already for 1.14.3, but if it's for other versions of Minecraft and the launcher is updated for you and you're a little bit confused how to download and install Forge and put mods into the new launcher, then I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, then it would be fantastic if you could leave a like in this video and leave me a comment down below and let me know if you'd had any problems. If you did, maybe I can help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am TBW, and I'll see you again in another Minecraft video. Bye bye.